In a world where people with special needs encounter struggles and setbacks, VIA of the Lehigh Valley aims to provide them with leadership, support, and opportunities. This nonprofit organization offers services from infancy to adult. Nicole Brewer tells us more. Let's put him in. Two-year-old Gracie Myers knows farm animals like the back of her hand. Everything from what they're called... Sheep. Sheep. ...to how they sound. Who is that? <laughs> Very good. That's what he says. We evaluated Gracie and we found out that she was developing her speech at a much lower rate of other children typical in her age range. An issue with her speech that ultimately led to behavioral problems. She threw temper tantrums that were unbelievable and she also um, had a tendency to like push and bite my son because it was the only way that she could communicate when she was unhappy with him. That was nine months ago but since then Gracie has received early intervention services from a nonprofit organization called VIA. We identify children that are either at risk or are already have a delay in any of these areas and the children are basically referred for therapy services to approve upon some of these delays in their skills. And every week for at least an hour, via speech therapist Marcel Broadway comes to the Myers home where she turns playtime into speech therapy. Can we use that that car sound, the room sound? Driver. Driver. There it is. Marcel says Gracie has come a long way since their first session and has mastered her first three sounds, B, P, and M. We made her M sound her yummy sound. We made her B sound her bubble sound. And we made her P sound her popping sound. As soon as we gave those sounds some character for Gracie, she took off and ran with them. Success that's made an impact on the whole family. It just has improved just our general life <laughs> in general, just made life a lot easier. And that includes Gracie's relationship with her brother. Rather than there being this constant conflict between the two kids, you know, Gracie really sees that her brother's trying to help her and um, they, they've become like this team, you know, and it's, it's really it's really nice to see as a mother. So. And VIA services don't stop at early childhood. Vice President of Programs Marianne Baer says they support people with special needs all the way through adulthood. We serve approximately 500 people in the Lehigh Valley, Valley with disabilities. Uh, all, all ranges of disabilities from developmental delays, uh, to autism, mental illness. Including people like 32-year-old Kelly Shepard of Allentown. When she became an adult and was out of the school system, I panicked like many other parents, thinking that, okay, now what? My child is going to sit home for the rest of her life. But Kelly doesn't sit at home. Instead, she works five days a week from 11 to 2, thanks to Via's employment program. Her job at Arby's is like a life sim for her. It, it increases her self-esteem, increases her self-worth. Um, she is happy. Employment coordinator Leslie Hartzell worked with Kelly to find her job through a process they call job sampling. We take a person out into the community and try maybe three or four different jobs uh, to see what they like, what they don't like, where their skills are. And in Kelly's case, her job at Arby's was an easy match. I think her personality suits her to be out in the public like that. Like she, she spends a lot of time in the dining room, kind of interacting around the customers. But that isn't all she does. I do all the tables and all the garbages, the windows. In her first few weeks on the job, Kelly received support with job training. But these days, after a few months of the job, um, she, she had mastered a lot of what she needed to do. And we just provide, like, check-ins. A process that involves monitoring Kelly's progress and consulting with her boss. We spend a lot of time communicating about support needs and, you know, what needs work, where, where she's doing great. And according to Arby's general manager, Mary Thomas, Kelly is an asset to the Arby's team. She's an excellent worker. She takes care of the customers, cleans the tables during lunchtime, positive attitude all the time. You can always hear her giggling about something. And whether it's Kelly's infectious laugh or Gracie's beautiful smile, these moms say their daughter's happiness is due in large part to Via. It's a very positive experience. I really enjoy getting to see her learn through play and to enjoy the therapy that she's getting. She loves going to work. She looks forward to that. I'm very thankful that there are organizations like Via. For Tempo, I'm Nicole Brewer reporting. And that brings us to tonight's Temple Trivia question. When did Via of the Lehigh Valley actually begin? The answer's just ahead. 
It's time for the answer to our Tempo Trivia question. When did Via of the Lehigh Valley begin? Well, Via began back in 1954. It currently supports more than 1,000 individuals and families. Here are some more interesting fast facts about Via.